Hello and welcome to our weekly Kit Plus TV news roundup supported by Media Proxy. You can catch up on all the previous shows and interviews on our channel where last week we learnt about the Apple M1 chip with Larry Jordan, networking and media transport with Riedel, Ross Video's new touch drive switcher panels and live streaming boxes from KiloView and Digibox. Yes, and in our efforts to find out a bit more about the people behind the tech, we found out that Larry just doesn't stop working. We learned that Make Do sometimes produces great results and is certainly good enough. We met another person whose career has gone full circle and we had the messiest revelation of the series so far. Yeah, so please subscribe to the channel or follow the page as we have a new show every day, at least every working day, covering the latest technology announcements, special guests and industry insight. Yeah, so let's get on with the news uh, that we found in our press room this week. YOLO Live, the creators behind YOLO Box Live Stream Studio, have announced a new partnership with Digibox in the UK and Ireland. Yeah, YOLO Box is an all-in-one encoder, switcher, monitor and recorder, allowing users to live stream full HD multi-camera content from anywhere to anywhere, offering simultaneous cross-platform delivery to major social channels, including Facebook Live, YouTube and Twitch, in addition to RTMP over conventional internet links or 4G. East Studio, one of Finland's leading recording facilities, has embraced the world-renowned sound of Neve by replacing the old desk in its main control room with a large Genesis Black G80 console. East Studio often attracts large recording sessions and therefore needed a console with plenty of inputs and a high channel count, which with a huge 80 inputs at mixed down and 40 input channels, each with 1073 preamps on offer, it's ideal for recording very large sessions. Maxon have announced for the first time ever two major new suite updates at once, Red Giant Trap Code Suite 16 and Red Giant Magic Bullet Suite 14. There are many updates to the Trap Code Suite, which is a set of 11 tools for particle simulation and 3D effects for motion graphics and VFX, plus smaller updates to Trap Code Form and Trap Code MIR Magic Bullet Suite 14. The list of new features is too long for us here, but go online and find out more at kitplus.com forward slash news. Now, Insight's next generation Nimbra platform has been selected by the Switch for a significant expansion of its US network. The deal will create a new 100 gigabit fiber network, bringing higher capacity connectivity to key media and sports hubs in the North American market. And our friends at KVM Tech are celebrating again when back in October, the Austrian manufacturer of KVM extenders and matrix switching systems won the product of the year award from the NAB show for their new product line, FlexLine. Pacific Post has released PackPost Live, which is a powerful remote collaboration platform originally built as an internal solution to immediately address the demands for remote work in March due to pandemic lockdowns. Pacific Post has added features to make PackPost Live a robust live streaming solution and is now offering it to a broader industry. And Blackbox have introduced the KVD200 to H4K HDMI dual head desktop KVM switch a competitively priced KVM switch designed for professional users who need to control two computers, such as a desktop and a laptop computer, with a single keyboard and mouse. So now for that quick 30 second break to tell you about Media Proxy, who support Kit Plus TV. As you may already know, Media Proxy is the global leader for all things compliance. Yeah, with over 20 years in the business and over 15,000 channels deployed in over 60 countries, they are the trusted partner in the industry for logging, monitoring and analysis of linear broadcast and OTT. What you may not know is that LogServer features extensive tools around digital program insertion, detection and monitoring. Support includes SCSI 104 as well as Type 5 and 6 SCSI 35 messages. Triggers can be monitored live, reviewed and analysed as well as reconciled in real time against second screen events. And if you're looking to replace your Volicon system, why not team up with the global leader in compliance? For more information, please just check out their website, mediaproxy.com. And now on with the news, where Systems Integrator Broadcast Solutions planned and executed almost two hours of pre-match excitement for AFC Wimbledon, with just a crew of three people. The occasion was the opening match at the football club's new home, just metres away from its original stadium in Plough Lane. Yeah, this first game marked the climax of almost two decades of fundraising for the club, which rose like a phoenix from the old Wimbledon, making its way through the tiers of English football to now play in League One. 
For the loyal fans, of course, COVID-19 regulations meant that no one could see their triumph return, triumphant return to Plough Lane, sadly. I'm sure they'll be back soon. You can watch the video online at kitplus.com forward slash news. Just do a search on AFC Wimbledon. Marquis Broadcasts post Flux, which improves the archiving, versioning, integrity, security, performance and sharing of Adobe Extended Workflows, has recently been updated to support After Effects projects in addition to Premiere Pro. This addresses the fundamental issue of being able to confidentially share Adobe projects in local and remote workflows. And EditShare has announced that leading UK post-production house Clear Cut Group has made the decision to install EditShare's media storage EFS at the centre of their operation with flow workflow significantly increasing the services offered to their clients. And in support of its customers easing back into production, Pliant Technologies has announced a 30-day return satisfaction guarantee on all of its Crewcom and Microcom wireless intercom products. Any plant customer that purchases a system between November 10th, 2020 and March 31st, 2021 is eligible for this 30-day return privilege and can return the system for a full refund. Worth trying them out to see if they help your social distancing. Absolutely, and don't forget to check out the um, chat we've done with Art from a client um, about the Microsoft system as well. Should be on the channel somewhere. Lynx Technic has announced that a new custom lookup table feature is now available for its Green Machine HDR Static, the company's HDR to SDR conversion tool. This useful custom lookup table feature is available at no additional cost to the user and enhances HDR Static's capabilities by ensuring that displays are showing the correct colour look for the source signals. It allows users to upload and export up to 20 of their own LUTs. Yeah, and existing Green Machine customers can download and activate this new complementary feature with a firmware update on their hardware. South African community radio station Bosveld Stereo is the first station in South Africa to deploy Calorex IP-based Type R for radio. Type R's modular approach created the ideal system for their needs. A Type R for radio core plus two hardware fader panels and one large soft panel. The system can be accessed remotely, crucial in today's COVID-19 environment. Absolutely. And MTF Services have released its latest bespoke lens conversion, the RF mount for Fujinon MK cinema lenses. The popular MK 18 to 55 uh, 2.9 and MK 50 to 135 2.9 mount cinema zooms can now be adapted to mount directly onto the new Red Komodo and Canon C70 cameras, which both use the RF mount. Once converted, the lens is handled perfectly with either camera, being an ideal size and weight for handout operation and featuring the legendary Fujinon Cine lens quality. That's all for the news this week. Do check out kitplus.com forward slash news for the full stories. And to include your news in next week's show, then head over to the Kitplus press room. More info can be found at kitplus.com forward slash help. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget this show is brought to you with the support of Media Proxy and you can find out more about them at mediaproxy.com and we'll see you next time.